Ladies and gentlemen, we will now bring you the debate between the PS4 and the Xbox One right now. And joining us right now are the PS4 and the Xbox One. Good evening, consoles, or as some people would refer to you as people. First, let's start with the PS4. How do you recover from the beating that you took from the original Xbox 360? Well, I believe with the past mistakes we've made and the four years that we've had to correct our mistakes, the learning process that we've had, I believe that it's only going to get better from here. From here on out, I believe that we can learn from our past mistakes, and I believe, and I believe that we will take over this next generation console war. Um, Xbox 360, uh, you heard what the aforementioned PS3 had to say, and what is your rebuttal to that? Lies. Nothing but lies. We've heard it all along from them in the past five, six years. We've heard how they were going to make the online better. We've heard how their controller was going to be better. We've heard all this stuff about what this system was capable of doing, but yet we've never seen this system capable of actually performing what it was supposedly capable of doing. Good point. Good point. PS4, how do you refute that evidence that the Xbox 360 just gave you? Well, I believe, like I so eloquently stated before, that we have four years of mistakes that we can rectify. I mean, we have been working diligently behind the scenes to try to make exclusives that can combat the Xbox 360s. And even though we haven't made one that's as good as anything on a 360 yet, we know that this time coming up, the future will be ours. Um, good answer. Mr. 360, a lot of people say that the DDR or whatever is going to be bigger than the PS4. How do you uh, refute that or how do you answer that question? Well, it's very simple how we answer that question. From past history, what has the PS3 done with a more powerful body of work than our system has? But what has the PS3 done that was better than the Xbox 360? Nothing. And that will be the same as the PS4 against the Xbox One. The problem with Sony is they do not know how to manufacture what they have under the hood. They do not know how to use it correctly. Okay, Mr. PS4, a lot of people have been making fun of your controller, saying it's built for small, tiny Asian children, this and that. When in America, large men as myself play these video game consoles, and uh, we're just wondering if you're ever going to rectify that. We've seen the new design of the, the, the controller, and it's still made for tiny Asian children. By the contrary, we don't believe that the controller is made for tiny Asian children. We believe that it is very, very good and widely controlled and gathered for everybody else in society. A lot of us Americans right now have large hands, but the controller fits just fine in my hands, and I'm sure at the next generation PS4 controller, even though it looks the same, will fit aforementionally in your hand adequately. And it's very cumbersome. Mr. 360, now you've heard all the statements by the PS4 right now, and going ahead right now, I see the war going on right now, and if I had to choose right now between either one of you, I would probably state that I would choose the PS, I mean the Xbox 360 simply because the online is much more excellent than the PS3s. So I'm wondering, I'm, this, I'm sorry, this statement is directed towards you, Mr. PS4. I'm wondering what's going to change in the online factor that has not changed since PS3? Well, it's very simple. We are working on things right now online right now that we will not be hacked anymore. We will be better than the Xbox 360 simply because we are my, more diverse in putting out our product than everybody else can say. Well, I don't know where you went with that answer, and I really don't know anything about it, and I really don't understand it. But, Mr. 360, you always had a firm grasp. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Xbox One. You've always had a firm grasp on the online community. And a lot of people complain about charging 50 some dollars for it, whatever it is now, this and that. I myself have no problem with it because I know I've played on both systems, and I know the online is much more um, effective and much more superior on the Xbox 360. Now, what do you have to combat the PS4 right now with his uh, outrageous statements that they're going to overtake you in, in the online community? Well, it's very simple. Every game out there is made for a specific system. Take number one game on Xbox Live and would be on the PS3 if it played good, but Call of Duty. It is strictly made for the Xbox 360's online service. 
So therefore, the most played game in the history of gaming will be played on our system, so that will make our online much better. And if you ever tried playing Call of Duty on the PS3, it's pretty bad online. Well, there you have it, folks. The Xbox One versus the PS4 right now. You be the deciding judge on which one you're going to buy right now. Now, the rumored prices, we don't know what they're going to be, but if we're going to judge this based on past performance, I have to say right now, without un un undoubtedly, I will go with the Xbox 360. Now, I know there is a rumored thing that the Quad Brotherhood could be making a return for all them social degenerates out there, adults, and the uh, little 12-year-old nerd kids that might be making a return to the Quad Brotherhood. But I much surmise that the Xbox Uno, Uno Brotherhood maybe, may have a return as well. There you have it, folks.